This weekend, Formula E descended on the city of Portland for round 12 of the championship series. With a race that promised to be hard on energy, Portland International Raceway provided some drama before the racing even started, as championship challenger Mitch Evans was unable to participate in qualifying due to a battery change. Even more strange was the DS Penske cars being disqualified from qualifying and being forced to start from the pit lane for using a scanner to allegedly spy on other cars. However, once the race got started, it was hectic and extremely tight. It was a fairly clean opening lap, with Dennis maintaining the lead after a good start. Cassidy had a really strong opening lap, where he made his way up to 5th from 10th on the grid. The energy-intensive nature of the circuit meant that drivers were having to conserve energy from the opening corners. Such was the increase in lap times that the DS Penskys, who started from the pit lane, were able to get up to the back of the pack by the end of the second lap. Despite the drivers already conserving energy, some were already starting to make big moves up the field, including Da Costa on lap 2. The bunched-up nature of the race quickly claimed its first victim, with Muller suffering from wing damage on lap 3. The following lap, the two Nissans made contact with Fenestras, damaging his front wing, brushing the rear of his teammate's car at turn 1. A frenetic couple laps resulted in most drivers taking their first attack mode. However, suddenly on lap 5, the safety car was called out due to Mary's stricken Mahindra grinding to a halt at turn 8. A brief safety car period resulted, and we were quickly back to green flag racing. Unfortunately for Fenestras, his excellent work in qualifying was undone, as the main supports of his front wing had become detached from his car, and he was forced to pit from a strong P6 for repairs. The closely packed racing continued, with cars going 3 wide on the back straight. However, the second big moment of the race quickly arose in the form of Muller losing control of his car and hitting the wall on the outside of Turn 9 in a vicious high-speed 27G crash. Luckily for the app driver, he was unharmed and was able to get out of his own car under his own power. After the safety car period, the racing became tougher and tougher as drivers started to fight to hold their positions as the laps wound down. Jev was a victim of this, as he went a bit wide on the grass at turn 9 and dropped a handful of positions. Cassidy, who was cutting a hole in the air for the drivers behind, was masterful in managing his energy while keeping a number of fast drivers behind him. However, Da Costa's move for the lead on lap 20 proved to be a turning point in the race as he started to push the pace, spreading the field out behind him. With four added laps to the race, because of the two safety car periods, there were six incredibly crucial laps left. Cassidy reclaimed the lead on lap 26, with Dennis gunning for a move into Costa around the outside of turn 2 on lap 28. Further back, there was some minor scuffling for position between Bird and Gunter, leading the latter to drop a couple of positions. As the laps ticked down, De Costa took the lead with an ambitious lunge down the inside of turn 10 on lap 29. However, Cassidy was not to be outdone. He swiftly repassed the Portuguese driver into the first corner on the following lap, and with the drop of the chequered flag quickly approaching, Dennis made a last gasp pass on De Costa to take P2 with only corners to spare. Nick Cassidy took the flag to win the inaugural Portland E Prix in spectacular fashion. Now, let's take a look at the race result from an afternoon of great racing at Portland International Raceway. First, taking his third win of the season was Nick Cassidy. Second was Jake Dennis, his third straight P2. And taking the final position on the podium was Porsche's Antonio Felix da Costa. Recovering to a remarkable P4 from P20 on the grid was Mitch Evans. In P5 was another driver who had a strong recovery drive, Envision Sebastian Buemi. Max Gunter finished P6 for Maserati, who is continuing to build on a solid run of form. Lucas de Grassi finished in a very strong P7, giving him his first point since the opening race of the season in Mexico City. P8 was Pascal Wehrlein, who struggled to catch up to the race leaders after struggling in qualifying. Nissan's Norman Nato managed to salvage some points in P9 after a tough race starting in P3. And finishing in the final points paying position was Freins, who got his second points finish of the season. Sam Bird, who finished 7th on the road, was dropped down due to a penalty. Mortara, Muller and Mary failed to finish. Next, let's take a look at the drivers and teams championship standings with 4 rounds remaining. Dennis maintains his championship lead by a solitary point with 154 points ahead of race winner Cassidy on 153. 
Werlein loses ground on the top two in Portland and sits on 138 points. Evans remains in fourth with 122 points but falls further behind Dennis and Cassidy. Vern and Da Costa are fifth and sixth with 97 and 93 points respectively. Gunter stays in seventh with 78 points. Two of the most veteran drivers on the grid, Buemi and Bird, are 8th and 9th respectively in the championship with 72 and 62 points. Rounding out the top 10 is McLaren's Jake Hughes with 46 points. Van Dorn is 11th with 42 points, followed by Rast with 40. Fenestra sits on 31 points in 13th, with Degrassi in 14th with 24 points. Lotterer and Nato are level with 23 points in 15th and 16th respectively. And the lead NIO Dan Tictum has 18 points in 17th, just ahead of Motara, who's won back on 17 points. Seth Kamara has 10 points in 19th, with departed driver Roland still in 20th with 9 points, and 21st and 22nd in the championship are the two app drivers, with Freins at 6 points and Muller with 2 points to his name. Rounding out the drivers' championship standings are Van der Linde, Beckman, and Mary on 0 points. To close up, here are the team's championship standings. Porsche maintains their lead at the top with 231 points, however Envision in second is closing up to them with 225 points. A bit of drift in third are Jaguar on 190 points, fourth in the championship is Jake Der, ah, excuse me, and Dretti with 177 points. DS Penske are fifth with 139 points, Maserati passed McLaren for 6 with 95 points on the back of Gunter's strong performance and McLaren themselves with 86 points remain well clear of the Nissan Works team who are 8th with 54 points. Mahindra passing NIO for 9th with 33 points, putting them 5 points clear of the Chinese outfit. Apt bring up the rear of the team's championship with 8 points. Season 9 of Formula E continues next month as we return to Rome for a much anticipated doubleheader.